through registering, adding an organization, creating a warehouse, receiving some stock into that warehouse, and then adding some volunteers. So first of all, we're just on the home page, we're in the default template, um, and we're just going to register for an account here. So I'm just going to enter my name. email address which you need a password it's only local so I'm just using 1234 and we can register here now I'm running this from a local host um, so it's actually quite slow because I'm recording my screen at the same time And because it's running locally, just using default um, configurations, I've been able to automatically be um, approved. I'm the first user on this instance, so I've been set up as the administrator here. Um, and that's how, how it's configured, so the first user gets administrator rights. Um, if you're setting this up on a server, you'll want to change some of those default settings. So I'm just going to go to add, add an organization here. And I'm going to add the Sahana Software Foundation. You can enter various details about your organization here or about other organizations you're working with. Sahana is based in the United States. And we can enter the website and we'll just skip adding a logo for now so we can create an organization like that and then we can see by clicking on the side menu here a list of all the organizations from here we're going to create a warehouse Okay, this is the home page for the warehouse module. Um, what this edit is, it's just a content management system where you can add your own content describing this. So we can type here, this is the warehouse module. So you can edit that if you've got administrator rights. So we're actually going to create a new warehouse now. I'm going to call this the main warehouse. This could have a code. So maybe it's warehouse one. This is going to be from the Sahana Software Foundation. Let's say this is in Philippines. Now, the Sahana Software Foundation doesn't actually have warehouses. The help we provide is in software. Now, if the regions for the country you've selected have been loaded into Sahana, um, and there's instructions on the wiki for doing that, I'll add a link at the bottom of this, um, you can select that here. But we'll just put one main street. And you can enter the postcode as well, or you can just find this on the map. So you can zoom in here, and once you're zoomed in far enough, which we're not, but I'll just do it now, you can click to post it. Okay, so we can just save that, and we've created a warehouse. Okay, so you can see the stock in the warehouse, because we've just created this, there isn't any stock in. and because of the way it's set up, we've got it set up so that you can't actually edit the stock directly. Now you can change that setting, um, but the default setting is that you can only either adjust the stock or receive stock. So let's just go through the process of receiving stock to the warehouse. So we're going to receive a new shipment. Let's say this shipment is a donation. Let's say if we look at the organization, there's only one organization here, so let's change that. And add a new organization. We're going to call this new organization Helping Hands. 
Uh, we're just going to do this quickly, so we're not going to enter all that information now. Let's say we've received that yesterday. Now there's a lot more detail that we can enter in here. We're just going to keep it simple for now. We're going to add some items. So let's say the first item is rice. It looks up in the catalog. You work out what sort of pack, whether it's a kg or a sack. Let's say it's 100 kgs of rice. And all those details, we'll just leave those for now just to keep it simple. We'll add another, let's say it's canned goods. And let's say it's 100 pounds of canned goods. And then we're going to receive that shipment. So this shipment's been received. We can now go back to look at our warehouse. Open the warehouse. And we can see that stock is in the warehouse now. We can also see warehouse stock across all warehouses. shows the stock across all warehouses. Finally, you're probably wondering where that rice and canned goods, those are common items. And you can see a list of all of the different items here. So we can see we have rice, Or we have canned goods and actually we can just if we want to we can open that rice up and we can see what packs that rice comes in as well so that shows you how you can create a warehouse and receive items to that warehouse. You can also, if you go back to that warehouse, open the warehouse up, send goods from that warehouse in a very similar way. So you can create a new shipment and those items will be automatically deducted from the warehouse stock as you send them. So the next question to ask is creating volunteers. That can be done by just going to the volunteer module. Create a new volunteer here. We can add a volunteer. So we'll add a volunteer for Sahana Software Foundation. Let's say Bob Bob Jones is going to volunteer with us. We can enter his email address in here. And you can have different roles for volunteers. You can have start dates and end dates. We'll save Bob Jones. And once that record's been saved, you'll see there's a lot more information we can enter for that volunteer there. Now, let's say that um, another volunteer is actually going to register in Sahana directly. So let's say someone on another computer. Let's say Frank Smith. Sorry, I'm entering these in the wrong field. has registered 
Okay. So Frank has now registered. So they can go to volunteers and you can now add a new volunteer here. And this time you can select someone from the registry and you can type Frank Smith in there and that'll select Frank from the registry using the information that they registered on Sahana with and you can create a volunteer record for Frank just like that. I hope that this brief demo has been helpful and if you've got any more questions I really encourage you to send an email to the Sahana Eden mailing list. Thank you.